Okay, uh, we're going to start talking about uh, our composition books. Okay, uh, for the learning that we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a lot of learning inside of our composition book. So I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to, the first video we're going to do is how to set up your composition book. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and write our name on our composition book. So, Mr. Shoemaker. Mr. Shoemaker. And uh, this composition book we're uh, going to use for math. So we're going to go ahead and write what we're uh, going to use the composition book on there. And uh, it's going to be the same setup, but we're going to do the same thing for a science uh, journal too. But uh, just make sure. So if you want to go ahead and do uh, both of them at the same time, you can do that also. I'm going to show you one right now. So write your name and uh, what's going to be inside our journal. If you want to pick a different color, uh, that might be helpful. Um, use maybe, you know, uh, red for, for math and blue for science, uh, but uh, however you like to do it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open it up, and uh, the first page in our journal is going to be our table of contents. I'm just going to abbreviate table of contents. You can write it out if you want, table of contents. And uh, you see this red line right here? We're going to kind of use that as a divider. Uh, we're going to put a uh, number of the pages that we put um, that we put our information in. So I'm going to page, abbreviate uh, number with a hashtag sign there. So our, uh, our, whenever we're putting things in our journals, we're going to go ahead and record uh, in our table of contents where that is. So later on, if we need, uh, need that information, say for instance, we're talking about uh, later on, we're going to be talking about expanded for form, word form, expanded notation, and stuff like that. So if you need to know how to do that, all you have to do is look in your table of contents and turn to that page. So uh, our journal has uh, 100 pages. So we have a possible of uh, approximately 200 entries because the pages are front and back. So uh, we're going to uh, leave quite a bit of room, or we're going to leave quite a bit of room for our table of contents. So what I want you to do is go ahead and flip the page over on the back of the one you just wrote your table of contents on and write table of contents again and we're going to put page number number right there and over to the right of that we're going to do it again table contents and page number page number so we have the first page in our journal is a table of contents and the next two pages are table of contents too. So the first um, place where we actually start recording information is going to be the page behind here. And this is page number one. Okay, but what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to label all of the even number pages. Um, and we can just refer back to the, uh, the pages on the left side are going to be odd numbers. The pages on the right side are going to be even numbers. Okay, and that's just a real quick lesson. It's going to be, I guess that's your first lesson in third grade is uh, even and odd. And uh, basically when we're working on our journals, uh, we're going to record, this is going to be sort of like the, the uh, what I teach is going to be on the left side. So we're going to have to take a lot of notes on the left side. On the right side, for the most part, we're going to be practicing what we learned on the left side. So you have it right there. Uh, uh, to, to refer back to. So later on, when we start talking about uh, word form and expanded form and expanded notation and stuff like that, uh, you'll have examples here on the left side. And uh, on the right side, uh, we'll do some practice. So we're going to go through here <coughs> and number uh, quite a few of the pages. So if we're talking about, if we're only doing odd, my next odd number is going to be, or my, if we're talking about even numbers, we're numbering the even pages. It's two, four, six. And this is something my math teacher taught me back when I was in third grade. Actually, it's probably fourth grade. Uh, to circle, okay, whenever we're numbering stuff, circle it. Because um, typically, uh, like in math class when I was in fourth grade, we would uh, write one and sometimes put a dot there. And... Uh, when you get to fourth grade, you're going to be working with decimals a little bit more. So uh, my teacher just taught me to uh, circle my numbers when I'm numbering stuff. So that's 8, 10, 12, 14. And we're going to go ahead. Um, we're probably going to, not going to number all of our pages, 
But uh, what I would like you to do is uh, make it at least to 100. Um, because uh, there's some other things we may do later on uh, using the back of our book for. So what I want you to do is go through and uh, number all the pages in your journal all the way up to uh, 100. And we're not going to um, put anything in our table of contents until we actually put the information in our journals. Uh, if, you, um, if you get confused about anything during any of these videos, you can always pause the video and go back and look back at it and listen for the information again. And uh, that's one of the cool things about making videos is you you always have it a reference to if you if you miss something or say mr shoemaker's going too fast you can always pause it rewind it and go back and uh, get that information uh, that's all we have for the math journals right now bye